So we're just about to go get massages and I am so excited because I haven't had a massage in months since Bali. And today it has been raining pretty much the whole day. It's kind of stopped now, but rainy days are our favorite going to this spa because they have an outdoor bathhouse that you use before your massage. And today is one of those days where it is just going to be perfect. And I am so excited. So when I first got here to Australia, I was not a fan of Vegemite, but now I love it. And apparently you're always supposed to put a little bit on your toes, but for some reason, <laughs> now I love it. And I probably put too much, but it's so good. got my new golf fit on and we are going to head out soon to go play some golf because it is finally sunny.
Beautiful. That's all right, we'll roll out. Ready, look, 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 it's still rolling. So we just got to our camping spot. Our car is packed full. That is our swag, what well, we're gonna be sleeping in. Dance surfboard, two chairs, towels, and just pillows, all of our stuff. But I am so looking forward to just being here and being so close to the ocean. You can literally hear the sound of the waves and just getting away for a couple days. been one week since I've been back here in Australia and to be honest it still feels a bit surreal and I think a part of why it feels surreal is for one I hadn't been back here I was away for a little over nine months we did three months a little over three months in Bali and then I did five and a half months back at home in the states and when we left for Bali at the beginning of February, I did not anticipate that I wasn't going to be coming back 
to Australia after Bali. I even had a flight back here to Australia from Bali, but decided to cancel that flight and head back home to the States. And I ended up staying a little over five and a half months back at home, which is still crazy to think about because it does not feel like it's been that long, but that is one of the reasons why it feels a little bit surreal to be back here. And also it feels a little bit surreal as when I got back here last week and brought my suitcases back in, it wasn't as if I was just walking through the door back to our place because we had been renting out our place on Airbnb. Our place was pretty much empty. So it's felt a little bit surreal being back in our place. And a part of that is because our place doesn't feel like our place just yet. And we're intentionally not making our place our place again because we have friends who are going to be staying in our place next, starting next week for almost two weeks. And so it doesn't make sense to bring all of our stuff that our, our stuff is in boxes. It doesn't make sense for us to grab those boxes, move back in fully into our place if our friends are just gonna be staying here in our place starting next week. So we're kind of in this like in between of being back here in our place, wanting to enjoy being in our place again, wanting to enjoy being here together again, and also not fully making it ours again because our friends are gonna be staying here next week. So that's why it still feels a little bit surreal. So tonight I am making a creamy Cajun chicken pasta for Dan and his parents. And I am so looking forward to making them this dish. It is one of my favorite recipes and dishes that I found in the past couple of months. I made it with and for my family a couple of times when I was back at home and they absolutely love it. So I'm super excited to make it tonight and for Dan and his parents to try it. I think they're really going to enjoy it.